We are here today to shout out from the mountaintops that workers and riders from all neighborhoods and walks of life should have safe, affordable, and reliable means of transportation without stress of struggle. Four years ago on February 4th, Rosa Parks' birthday, in partnership with the Amalgamated Transit Union, we launched Transit Equity Day to declare transit equity as a civil right. During the pandemic, transit workers have been a lifeline to our communities and frontline workers who must get to their life-saving jobs. Losing the battle for public transit is losing the war for the working class. We have always been essential. For low-income communities and communities of color, owning a car is often out of reach. And without a car, finding job opportunities is a struggle. It doesn't have to be this way. From the elderly to the young, to the middle, to the disabled, make it fair for everyone. I am totally blind from birth with multiple other disabilities. Transit-dependent riders, youth, elders, people with disabilities have no choice but to ride. The lack of quality private transit services significantly hinders the ability of people with disabilities to live for lives. This is an equity issue in terms of making sure we have the transit system that actually serve not just the well-to-do, but every working person and every poor person. It was challenging for me to wake up early every day and try my best to not miss the bus, but I had so much tolerance, not because I was playing around, but because of public transportation. Make no mistake, transit and postal service both serve to preserve and foster our democracy. Public officials need to be listening to this and they need to do something about this. We need to prioritize a clean economy, which includes transportation. There is only about a 10-year window left to reduce emissions in order to avoid cataclysmic climate change. Before being hired by BYD, I drove long-haul truck. At BYD, I'm able to make electric buses. They don't put out toxic fumes. Clean energy versus diesel energy. Big difference, makes the heart feel good. We can fund transit and we can fund clean energy. We must fund them both. Because the public counts on it and they need it.